these things. So uh, we know that there are different types of uh, number systems like uh, binary number system, then uh, octal number system, decimal and hexadecimal. So <coughs> in case of uh, binary number system, we know that uh, the base is two and the digits which we use in binary number system are zero and one. So similarly, uh, there is an octal number system where the base is eight. The first digit used in octal number system is zero. Then the last digit is seven. And the, all the digits which we can see here uh, are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, up to seven. So this is an octal number system. Then there is, then there is a decimal number system with base 10. So we all are uh, aware of this number system where the first digit is zero and the last one is nine. Okay, so zero, one, two, up to nine. And the fourth system is a hexadecimal number system with base 16. The first digit used here is zero and the last one is F. So we start with uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is like a decimal number system and after nine, we have A, B, C, D, E up to F. Now here, the meaning of A is 10, meaning of B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, and so on up to 15. So uh, in decimal, we have only 10 digits, but in hexadecimal, we have 16 digits. Uh, we can see the different uh, number systems here. Like the first one is... Uh, the first one is the decimal number system which we all are aware of so here uh, there are 10 unique symbols and the base or radix is 10 the digits on the left side of the decimal point are the integer part and the right hand side are fractional part okay so here we can see that there is a decimal point and uh, on the left side of the decimal points all the integers are shown and on the right side these are the fractional parts so this is the uh, we can say this is the standard format uh, through which we uh, represent our decimal number uh, so the first one is you know uh, d0 the, the first uh, digit left to the decimal point is d0 and it's it is multiplied by 10 raised to 0. So similarly, there is a d1, dn minus 1 up to d1. Uh, so uh, like in teacher format, we have also fractional part on right side. So you can uh, understand this uh, thing with some examples. So I'm going to show you some examples. So this one is the binary number system. So similar to decimal number system in binary case, we have only two digits. And zero and one and in decimal we we have zero to nine here we, we see only zero and one so same thing is there there is a decimal point uh, sorry binary point here and uh, integers integer values are b0 b1 up to bn and on the right side these are the fractional values so this is just a representation of uh, So this is the representation of binary uh, number system. Then you can see uh, uh, the octal number system is how it is represented, represented using uh, decimal number. We know that uh, decimal number starts from zero and ends at 10, uh, okay, ends at nine. And after that it gets rolled over to one zero, one zero, one one, and so on up to two zero. Now, what is the equivalent number, equivalent octal number for all these decimal numbers are shown in the second column and fourth column. So in the second column, you can see that the decimal zero is represented by octal zero. Similarly, up to seven, all the uh, decimal numbers are shown in octal uh, value also. But once it becomes eight, there is a rollover from seven to one and the next bit is zero. So after seven, we do not see eight, nine, 
in the octal number there is directly one zero so zero to seven and then one zero up to one seven so once the once we reach the one seven that is uh, in octal uh, format the next digit is two zero so uh, from this we can understand that the octal number has only zero to seven digits and uh, once we reach seven the next digit is one zero similarly when we reach one seven the next digit is two zero so this is octal number system then we have uh, uh, can i uh, request all of you to please do not annotate on the slides actually it is making difficulty for me so please do not uh, annotate on the slides somebody has uh, annotated this okay so there is a decimal number from 0 to 9 the equivalent hex number is shown in second column so the first the first 10 digits in hex are similar to the first the first 10 digits are similar to decimal number but once we get 10 in the decimal number its hexa hexadecimal equivalent is a so for 11 it is b for 12 it is c for 13 it is d up, up to f and when we reach f the next digit is one zero okay so somebody has raised the uh, so let me just okay i'm i'm unmuting all if you have any doubts you can please uh, tell me otherwise I'll, I'll mute you all mayuri is uh, do you want to say something oh. hello are you there okay, i'll just mute you all so this is hexadecimal number system so i'll just go back to the all the number systems once again first one is the binary second one is octal then decimal and hexadecimal so in the octal number system we know that there is a base eight the number starts from zero and ends at seven in hexadecimal the first digit is zero and the last one is f and after f we go to the one zero okay but the equivalent decimal number of a b c d e f these are mentioned here a is nothing but 10 and so on up to 15. okay so this is the standard representation of decimal number system then this is the standard representation of binary number system i'm just revising because uh, many students have uh, joined uh, right now i think i can see that there are 42 uh, participants right now okay so this is binary number system we just use zero and ones so combination of uh, bits zero and one then this is octal number uh, in this uh, slide i'm just representing uh, the decimal number and octal number so that you can learn what is the difference between decimal number and octal number so up to zero to seven from zero to seven the decimal and octal number these two things are same and uh, once we go beyond seven the number becomes one zero then one one and uh, so on okay so up to one seven this is octal number system then there is hexadecimal number system starts with zero and uh, the the last one is f so after f the next digit is one zero and it goes up to one f and these are the decimal equivalents of these hex numbers so we have 16 digits in hex number system uh, eight digits in octal number system and 10 numbers 10 digits in the decimal number system and two in the minor numbers so let us see the important thing here that is the conversion conversion of uh, binary numbers to decimal 
So the first example is here. Uh, the example is convert 10101 in the binary format. So the okay. So 10101 is in the binary format and uh, it is to be converted into decimal. So how is it converted? So for that, uh, we just have to remember that for conversion from any base uh, system that is binary, octal, or hex to decimal, uh, follow the same procedure. So the procedure is like this. When we convert binary number to decimal, we just have to find out the positional weights. So the positional weight of this the first digit is two, two raised to zero. Then uh, the positional weight of second bit is two raised to one. Then third is two raised to two, two raised to three, two raised to four, and so on. Okay, so uh, as an example, I'm taking this number, binary number, which is to be converted into decimal. So I have a two zero, two raised to zero as, as the first digit, okay? the first positional weight, then two raised to one, two raised to two, two raised to three, two raised to four, and so on. So all these are the uh, integer values. So we just have to do uh, addition of multiplications. So this is addition of multiplications. So we just have to multiply the uh, binary number here by the positional weights. So suppose if I take the 10101 as a binary number, then I must multiply the first digit by two raised to four then the second digit by two raised to three uh, i'll just highlight this so this one is the these are the positional weights so here we are multiplying the positional weights by the digit okay so this one is the first digit then the second positional is multiplied to this and so on so this is shown here you can see the one, you can see that one is multiplied by two raised to four, and then zero is multiplied by two raised to three and so on. But we should start from right to left because we must uh, know the positional weights. The first positional weight of the first digit is two raised to zero, and that is one. The next one is two, next, and the next thing is two raised to two, that is four, eight, 16, and so on. Okay, so, one is multiplied by two raised to four, zero is multiplied by two raised to three, this one is multiplied by two raised to two, the next zero is multiplied by two raised to one, and finally the last digit one is multiplied by two raised to zero. And then we just have to add all these multiplications. Okay, so the first two raised to four is 16, the next one the multiplicand was zero, so it becomes zero. One into two raised to four is four, then zero and one. And when we add it, we get the result 21. So in this way, we can convert binary number into a decimal number. Okay. So I'll just ask, uh, I'll just unmute all and uh, I'll ask you a doubt. If anybody has any doubt. Hello. Mayuri, are you there? Because you have raised your hand. Mayuri, can you listen to me? Okay, I think uh, many of you have just physically joined in the lecture. Uh, listening to some of the <laughs> Okay, can somebody? Hello. Somebody's talking, I think. I can't say Okay, so the next uh, example is 
one one zero one one dot one zero one. This is now uh, in the fractional form. Okay, so the binary number is here. So we just want to convert this binary to convert this is binary number. Okay, so it seems that uh, many of you have just physically present in the lecture because uh, you might not be in uh, you might not be interested in listening to this lecture. So I just request all of you that please uh, pay attention in the lecture. Okay, so the second example is uh, converging, converting this uh, fractional number format in binary to decimal. So the, the same concept we are implementing here, that is we have a, we have a uh, fractional number here. We can see there is a binary point somewhere here. So it just we just have to write our positional words like this: two raised to zero, two uh, zero onwards on the left side, and two raised to minus one, two raised to minus two, two raised to minus three on the right side. So because as these are the uh, fractional uh, digits, so the power is in negative. So minus one onwards. And here on the integer side, all the values are in positive. Two raised to positive in, uh, powers so 1101.101 can be converted into a decimal format here we just do the same thing addition of multiplications so we do additions of the multiplication of digit and its positional weight so i can just show you like this so there is multiplication of these positional weights and the addition of all these values. So the first multiplication is, uh, I'll start from this point, 2 raised to 0 multiplied by 1. So I have this 2 raised to 0 multiplied by 1 here. Similarly, 2 raised to 1 multiplied by 1, 2 raised to 2 multiplied by 0, and then 2 raised to 3 multiplied by 1, and 2 raised to 4 multiplied by 1. So same thing is uh, done for the fractional part. But here, remember, the power is negative, OK? So in case of fractional number, earlier uh, the number was uh, integer. Here, the number is fractional. So we can, we can have two parts of this number, one in the left side of this point, and these three digits on right side. So 1 into 2 raised to minus 1. 0 into 2 raised to minus 2 and 1 into 2 raised to minus 3. So when we do all these multiplications and then add this number, we get the result that is 27.625. So here we have converted this binary number. This binary format is right now in both integer and fraction. So it is converted into decimal. OK, so if you have any uh, a doubt here you can just ask me or you can you can just raise your hand so that i'll i'll clear the doubt if anybody is there i think uh, sanket is there somebody is here i'll just unmute you okay Hi, can you talk? All clear, sir. All clear. Okay, Sanket, is it okay? Yes, sir. All clear. Okay, so if you have any doubts, you can just raise your hand so that I can uh, clear the doubts. Yes, yes. Okay. So let us move to the next part. That is uh, the next conversion is octal to decimal. So we are we are going to see these three types of conversions today. Uh, the first is uh, binary to decimal. Second one is uh, octal to decimal, and third one is hexadecimal to decimal. Okay. So the second conversion is octal number to decimal number. So how will you convert this? 
ऑक्टल नंबर इंटू डेसिमल नंबर ओके सो शेयर वी हैव ए नंबर फोर जीरो फाइव सेवन डॉट जीरो सिक्स द बेस इज एट सो बेस एट इज नथिंग बट द नंबर इज ऑक्टल नंबर सो आई जस्ट राइट वन मोर नंबर हियर आई जस्ट हैव टू जस्ट हैव टू से विदर दिस नंबर इज ऑक्टल और नॉट कैन यू से दैट दिस नंबर इज ऑक्टल Yes. Can somebody respond? Is this a octal, yes, sir. Is this an octal number? Yes, sir. How? Yes. Uh, because the base is eight. But you you forgot that there is number nine and eight here. Oh. There should not be nine and eight in the octal number, right? Because octal number mm -hmm. starts from zero and it ends at seven. So we just see only zero to seven digits in any octal. number okay so this is not this is not uh, this is not an octal number so here we have the 4057.06 in octal format and we want to convert this into decimal so the same procedure which we had followed for binary con binary to decimal conversion we can follow the same procedure but the only difference is that the base is changed from 2 to 8 so in the earlier case so here you can see that there was a uh, base 2 and here the base is 8 right so only this difference is there and when when we'll see uh, hexadecimal the same thing will be done and big change is in the base okay so any number to decimal conversion we just have to change the base value really. suppose we have a if we have a, uh, a binary numbers binary to decimal we'll use base 2 for octal to decimal we'll use base 8 and for hex to decimal we we'll use base 16 so only changes in the base so rest of the things are same that is addition of multiplications okay so there is addition of multiplications so we have a uh, number here 4057.06 in the octal format so we'll just uh, first of all write down the positional weights if you do not write this it's okay but uh, you, you, uh, for for the first few examples to get the uh, you know to understand the concept uh, we have to write down this positional weights so there is a point here i can say this is octal point so for, from octal point towards left all the powers are positive so here the powers are of base 8 so it raised to 0 it raised to 1 it raised to 2 it raised to 3 and so on and similarly on the fractional part we have it raised to minus 1 it raised to minus 2 and so on it depends on the number which we are going to convert so here the number is 4057 this part is you know this is integer part and this one is a fractional part So four zero five seven. So we should multiply seven by eight raised to zero. Okay. So seven multiplied by eight raised to zero. I'll just uh, divide this uh, multiplications into two parts. One is fractional part, and the second part is integer part on the le left side. So seven into eight raised to zero. So the first digit. Seven into eight raised to zero. The next one is five into eight raised to one. The next one is zero into eight raised to two, and the last one is four into eight raised to three. Suppose if I have some more uh, digits on the left side like this, then we should use the next uh, positional weights like this: four, eight raised to four, then eight raised to five. Okay, and so on. so this depends on the number so there is there are multiplications and then we just uh, find uh, we just add this uh, multiplication so 4 into 8 raised to 3 so 8 raised to 3 we can easily calculate uh, we can use calculators or if you if you are able to do this uh, without calculator that's okay 
So 2048, it, it is the multiplication, the first multiplication. Then we have a zero here because the digit is zero. Then five into eight, that is 40. Then seven, and this is fractional number. Okay, so this is the result. So finally, we have 4057.06 octal number converted into decimal. Okay, so I hope you have understood this. Okay, if so, if anybody has any doubts, they can just ask me. Otherwise, I'll just move to the next. Okay, I, I find that the many students are just putting some uh, television or something else in in the background, and they just uh, they are just physically they are just physically present in the lecture. So it, it is not expected that it should be just physically present for the lecture. You should uh, simultaneously pay attention to the lecture because we are just you know uh, we are taking our time for you guys. So you should be seriously present in the class. Okay, so the next thing is conversion from hex to decimal. Now uh, we have just seen that there is uh, how to convert the octal number to decimal. Now let us see the conversion of hex number to decimal. So what change we have made here? In the earlier case it was uh, base 8 in case of octal but here the base is 16 the rest of the things are same so 5c7 we want to convert 5c7 uh, this hex number into a decimal format so for that uh, there is sum of multiplication that is addition of multiplications so we just multiply each digit by its positional weight so 7 is multiplied by 16 raised to 0 because this is the first digit to the left of uh, point. So 7 multiplied by 16 raised to 0 is there. Then we have 12 multiplied by 16 raised to 1. Now why, why 12? Because the C is represented as a 12 in decimal. You know, we, we are going to convert hex number to decimal. So we know that A is represented by 10. B is represented by 11. 11. C is represented by 12. Okay, so we cannot multiply C to the 16 raised to 1 because we do not know what is the meaning of C. So we just have to replace the value of C in the decimal that is 12. So 12 multiplied by 16 raised to 1 and 5 multiplied by 16 raised to 2. So do the multiplications and then additions we get the result that is decimal format okay so i think it is clear to you so tomorrow uh, we are going to have the lecture at our uh, according to our timetable that is 10 10 10 15 onwards we are going to have the tomorrow's Okay, so I think uh, you, you all of you have got the instructions from uh, Dean Academics that there will be online lectures according to your timetable. So tomorrow morning uh, we are going to have one more lecture. Ten ten. Okay, ten ten or ten fifteen. Okay. So the next thing is. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to give you one more uh, example for hex to decimal number. So here you can see there is a hex number a zero f nine dot zero e b sixteen. Okay. So this is uh, it has both integer part and fractional part. So. Uh, how many positional weights there will, uh, will be uh, written? We will have a uh, seven uh, positional weights, uh, four on the left side for integer part and three on the right side for the fractional part. Okay, so the same thing is done. A is now replaced by its decimal equivalent, that is 10. Okay, zero is as it is, 
f is represented by its decimal equivalent that is 15 okay then 9 0 then e is represented by 14 so this is e this is f and this is a okay rest of the things are same so there are there are multiplications and then additions so we get this final result so if you have any doubts i'll just unmute you okay anybody has any doubt just raise your hand mayuri i think mayuri had some doubts okay i'll go one by one mayuri do you have any doubts and then Abhi is there. Abhi is there. Hari Prasad. Manish. No doubt, sir. Okay, then Rituja. Uh, Akshata. No doubt, sir. Nikesh. No, sir. Pranali. No doubt, Pranali is there. Kapitra. Sir, can you explain it again? Who is there? Can I know your name? Okay, what, what, what do you want to have once again? Which part? Hello? Hello? So can you just uh, hear that no, which part you did not understand? Okay, so I'm not getting any response. So I'll just explain once again this uh, hex to decimal number because somebody has not understood this. So how will you convert any hex number to any number to a decimal number for that we just remember I'll just write down here a conversion of any number any number means it may be binary octal or hex okay so any number to decimal number conversion that is binary number or octal number or hex number so we know the base values for binary there are only two symbols so base is two for octal we have eight values zero to seven and for hex we have 16 digits from zero to f okay zero to f uh, so we can convert all these types of numbers into decimal so remember when we convert any number to decimal number there is addition of multiplications so how do you uh, perform these uh, multiplications for multiplications we just have to remember that in binary case the base is two so suppose i have a number like this one one zero i want to convert it into decimal so the first uh, positional weight is two raised to zero. Second one is two raised to one okay next one is 2 raised to 2 so multiply all these positional weights by the digit which is present okay so by simply i'll just multiply 2 raised to 2 is 2 or 2 raised to 2 is 4 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 next is 2 raised to 1 is 2 2 multiplied by 1 is 1 uh, sorry 2 and 0 multiplied by 2 is 2 raised to 0 that is 1 0 multiplied by 1 is 0 so what is the answer answer is 6 okay so 110 converted into decimal is 6 the same thing can be done for octal number suppose i have an octal number like this 4 4 5 so what will you do to convert this octal number into decimal we should take the positional weights now the base is 8 here the base was 2 the base is 8 so 8 raised to 0 8 raised to 1 
and 8 raised to 2. Okay, so then multiply these digits. So 8 raised to 2 is 16, 16 multiplied by 4 is 64 plus 8 raised to 1 is 8, 8 multiplied by 4 is 32. Okay, plus 8 raised to 0 is 1, 1 multiplied by 5. So addition of all these numbers is the conversion into decimal. Now what will what should be done for hex? In case of hex number, in case of hex number, hex is already shown here. So in case of hex number, we just have to take the base value as a 16 instead of 2 or 8. That was in case of binary and uh, octal, right? So here the base is 16. So take the base values as 16. But remember that uh, there is no meaning of A in decimal. Uh, decimal does not understand A, F, E, these symbols. So we just have to put the equivalent of A. Now the equivalent of A is how much? 10. Because uh, it is beyond 9. So 9 and then we come to the A. So A is its equivalent decimal value is 10. B is Okay, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. Okay, so I think you have understood this. So rest of the things we'll see in the tomorrow's lecture. So I'll just come prepared by, uh, I'll just share these PPTs to you so that you can learn these things better. Okay, so anyways, thank you very much for attending this today's uh, class. So tomorrow at 10.15, we'll start the uh, next part of this. Okay, so I'll just leave the, if you have any doubts, I'll just unmute. Um, okay, if you have any doubts, you just uh, raise the queries. That is just okay, it's very value 10 directly, then how we will convert it? Uh, I did not understand. You can suppose uh, A is represented by 10. Oh. Yes. Okay. In, if in place of A, they give 1, 0, 0, F9. So A is, A, the place of A is 10. Right? So because A is represented in decimal value is 10. So 10 multiplied by 16 is to 3. No, no. F is F is nothing. F in decimal is nothing but fifteen. So fifteen is multiplied by sixteen is to one and so on. Okay. Uh, remember that whenever we have any hex number, there will be some symbols like A B C D up to F, because hex number has a total sixteen digits, and in decimal we know only ten. 0 to 9. So beyond 10, we should have six more digits, right? So that are A, B, C, D, E, and F. So when we convert this uh, X number to decimal, we have to use the of A, F, E, and so on, and use those values in calculating the uh, decimal value. Okay. Okay. So I think. Uh, uh, I'm done, so we'll leave for today.